Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 random random run, where we take a random character and random weapon and see if we can beat Danger 5 with it. Hope you're all doing well and ready to see what we get. <clears throat> I think we are sitting at, spoiler alert, we're at 12 out of 15, one so far, so still at exactly 80%. Um, which is kind of my goal for the series, so hopefully we can boost that and not have to be playing catch-up as we continue on towards 20 of these done. Um, this is uh, I've been really enjoying the Random Random series, so I'm excited that we've been able to go this deep on it. All right, let's see what we roll. The Knight. Ooh, this should be a really fun one. So I did, I believe, swords for my Knight Guide, and in fact, I think the Knight is the easiest... Knight with swords is the easiest character to beat Danger 5 on if you're new to the game. Um, but Knight is just generally a very powerful class. The worst of these is going to be the Torch, because it doesn't scale with the Knight's abilities. Um, one of the most fun ones is probably going to be the Hammer. This is a place we could get Hammer and have it actually work, as opposed to the Engineer. And it doesn't have a lot of synergy with Spiky Shield, although the bonus armor, of course, is great, and just Spiky Shield is such a good weapon that you should be able to win with that. Let's see what we get. All right, Jousting Lance. I mean, this is very appropriate, so let's roll with it, and we are going to go with some Jousting Lance Knight action. Jousting Lances normally scale best with just attack speed, and uh, you usually don't want to build melee damage on them, which is even more compounded on the Knight because you get melee damage from armor, so you'd rather not actually purchase melee damage. You'd rather just buy... Um, attack speed and armor in order for your melee damage to go. We'll take the weird ghost here, although I, this is a way I could lose this run, is if I just walk into an enemy and die. And then here I'm going to reroll, I think, or just take attack speed. I think I'll reroll looking for harvesting. We didn't get there, but I'll take more armor to increase our damage, as well as just knights work very well. Um, oh, right, I, I don't want harvesting anyways, because uh, the knight has a harvesting penalty. So, in fact, we won't buy Fertilizer, even though normally that's an excellent find. Although for 17, we get... We would only get one Harvesting off the Fertilizer. So it will take a really long time to pay for itself. So, yeah, let's not let's not buy Fertilizer. We'll buy a Jousting Lance. We'll lock the Weird Food and we'll roll. Lock a Jousting Lance again. I should actually read these characters, especially the ones I haven't played all, uh, recently. We still need to buy a lot of attack speed because attack speed is so powerful. Um, even though we have reduced attack speed gains, it's just such a good stat. Jousting Lance gives us the medieval weapon tag for armor and dodge, so we're going to be able to build up some dodge, which is pretty nice and looking pretty good so far. Let's get into wave two. And I have to try to not die even with only two lances and only one health, while we wait for at least some sort of healing to spawn. But there we go. Between leveling up and just any healing that we find, I'm, I usually feel pretty safe taking Weird Ghost in these early waves. Uh, here I am going to probably just keep buying armor. I could just buy Crit Chance because it's level two. You know what? I think let's buy Crit Chance so we can start building Crit, if, especially if we find like an early hunting trophy or something. That'll be fun. And Jousting Lance has such high base damage that Crit is good on it. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to roll for another Lance, which we will lock. This is really, really good. So very happy to see this as well. I'd say this run basically couldn't be going better so far. I'll of course take movement speed as well to scale the damage on our lances, but the the best way to scale our lance damage for the knight is just going to be for, for us to get attack speed and armor. Um, since armor gives us melee damage, and we need armor anyways. Oh, can I... I might be able to hit it. Oh, we even got an 80 damage crit. If i gotten one more attack on it, it would have died. I'll just take 10 luck here. Luck is always good. And here I'm actually going to take three regen. We want to start building regen sooner than later, I think, on this character. Let's reroll here. Do I want this armor, actually? So, two melee damage, 
is basically one bonus damage per lance, so every armor we buy increases our base damage by one. I think it's worth buying the duct tape here. And then I don't want either of these. I'm going to throw in one more reroll to see if I can lock another lance. We couldn't. Do I want the ritual? We're probably not going to build lifesteal, but it's still 6% damage, and we have no percent damage. Um, I think I'm going to pass on it just because we don't intend to build lifesteal. Ritual is a very good item, though, so it's always worth looking at. But 6% damage is just too few, I think, to be worth that price tag at this point. Even though we currently have none. One reason I think that is just because I, I really want to build up our... To, to ensure that I'm spending money on getting to our six weapons as soon as we can. Wow, we've gotten a lot of loot aliens. I wish I'd managed to kill the, the one in the previous round. Take more lemonade, that's great. And then here, so we could take 5% attack speed. These are all great, and I really wish I could take all of them. I think I'm going to take the attack speed, though, because we need to... Even though it's half as valuable as the rest of them, it's basically taking a level 1 attack speed buff rather than a level 2. Attack speed is so good with jousting lances and so hard to get on the knight that I think it's better to start building it early. Um, we need to remember, of course, that I have bought a weird ghost. I would reroll if I had the money to, but I don't. I do have 3 regen and good healing, good consumable healing. So if we drop a consumable, we'll be fine. And even if we don't, we should tick up enough that, wow, I, I did actually almost die there just by walking into enemies. Um, luckily, my healing had put me high enough. I think just because I'm playing the knight, which I consider a very easy class, I'm just getting quite lazy. So I need to, need to tighten up my play because it would be really embarrassing to lose this run. All right, up to 136. Here, I'm going to reroll this, I think. I think we can get a level 2 upgrade that we actually want. And yeah, I'll take 3 regen. And then I guess I'll just take 5% damage here. Because increasing our damage is good. We will definitely take bonus speed, even at the cost of luck. Terrified Onion is still going to be really nice, and it scales really well with our Jousting Lances. And now we have 6 regen. I'll keep taking these weird ghosts, although if I die, I'll, I'll be very sad. Uh, going to roll past all these. We're just looking for more Lances. We don't really care about losing one melee damage. We generate a ton of it, so and it, losing one is only half as painful. So I will still take the Peaceful Bee, even without it with without harvesting being useful for this character, we want to increase our dodge. So that's a, a relatively cheap way to do it. And now we get to lock a lance and go to the next wave. Once again, I had the moment of like, why is my health so low that I have every time I buy weird ghost and then forget that I've bought it instantly because I have the mind of a goldfish. Get that consumable, and now we're back up. Already 24 health at wave 6 is pretty nice, too. Like, we're we're actually very well set up for the having good survivability with 6 regen and 24 health already. Let me get this tree. Tree, 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 attack. There we go. <laughs> the the bad attack speed on these does make it sometimes rough to get stuff like that. So for that reason, again, I'm just going to keep taking attack speed when it shows up. At this point, is it too risky to take the ghost? I think we can take another ghost. I don't know why we're finding so many weird ghosts. I don't think Knight has any tags that make you more likely to find weird ghost, but maybe we do. Um, I don't remember what Knight's tag, chop tags are. I don't. I thought it had none, but who knows? I mean, the wiki knows and the commenters will know, so I'm sure I will know s soon. I'm going to definitely still take this duct tape. Just increasing our armor is so good for us, and Jousting Lance will benefit. Let's go into the next wave, remembering this time that I have Weird Ghost and need to play pretty careful off the start. With only 6 regen, I 
can easily die. So for that reason, I'm going to break the first couple eggs that we see. Um, it cost me a little money to do that, but it ensures that there's no chance of us dying. Now that we're back to full health, or more or less full health, I'll, I'll start letting them hatch, and then we can kill them. This build should have tons of damage, so killing killing them is what we want to do, but I think it was still worth buying the weird ghost. I did accidentally break a couple more than I intended to of the eggs. Just because the long range on these weapons makes that easy to do. Trying to pick up as much in the way of materials as we can. Left a lot on the ground, though. Uh, here I'm just going to recycle this. Reducing your range on jousting lances is actually kind of interesting because it increases your attack speed a little bit with them, but I don't think it's worth 27 materials for that. And then here I'm going to reroll this. I would take the one armor, but I think we can get a level 2 upgrade. And we can. I will take more health regeneration. Take this duct tape. And like I said, we're not going to buy melee damage. We'll just get melee damage from buying armor. Because it's just much better value on the knight. Ideally what we would find is stone skin. Because then we'd get armor and... We'd get damage and health from buying armor. Um, don't want to cap my max HP at 27. And we also don't really need the handcuffs anyways. At this point... Is it worth buying more duct tape? I guess it probably is. I think I'm going to pass on the cute monkey, though. No, I'll, I'll buy it. We, we do need a little more healing. I don't know if we need a second one. Um, but I think I'm going to take bait, because this is a, a relatively safe wave to do that in. I'll definitely buy the beanie. I'm not going to lock the second cute monkey, although it is pretty good uh, to, to stack these in multiples. Now that Actually, now that we have one, I think I am going to lock this and buy the second one. It just makes the healing off of them more reliable, so you can use them as a much more... Uh, as a much easier way to generate health. Of course, we take a bunch of damage off the start of that wave, but because this is wave 8 and not that dangerous a wave, I think it's relatively safe to buy bait on these waves. I will say this is a slightly weaker version of this build than I was sort of expecting to have at this point, just because... Uh, I've spent a lot on duct tape, which is a pretty inefficient item. I th I don't regret any of those purchases, but just because it's what showed up in the shop, and you, you have to play the shops you're given. But anything that re increases our max HP will really fix our build completely. So if I find a broken mouth or something, then that we will suddenly be in excellent shape. Of course, also just any additional attack speed will be really good because it's so important for drafting lances. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep taking duct tape. It's funny that we're just getting these the same things over and over again. I'm actually going to buy dodge over regen here because I'd like to start building our dodge soon. If we can get that up a little higher as we are leveling, we already have some from being a medieval weapon and we bought that peaceful bee so if we can get that to 20 percent pretty early that will be very valuable for us we'll buy this this and i'm also going to buy the baby gecko now that we have two cute monkeys that will increase our healing significantly and then here i'm going to upgrade my jousting lance buy the lemonade and then lock the spicy sauce because increasing our hp is really important this should be a great wave for us since we just have a weapon that has a giant cleave, so we should be able to clear the wave 9 enemies really well. Had to get an easy one eventually, right? I really need to stop saying this is an easy build, because then I'm, I'm gonna walk into 20 elites and die. And I will say, you know, it's it's a little harder than it looks just because our attack speed is bad and, and hard to increase. So, looks on paper. Um, and that's the main way that you usually scale jousting lances. I'll keep taking baby geckos. Again, having the materials be pulled in, it's, it's a strong synergy with 
cute monkey because it will make, make sure that you have healing constantly. And definitely increasing our luck. Here, do I want armor that also gives us damage or speed that also gives us damage or crit chance that's just good damage? I think I'm going to take the armor. Um, all of those scale our damage, but armor scales our survivability as well. And we can just keep taking armor. With 15 armor, we take 50% less damage. That's really good. Uh, I would love max HP more than anything, but I think I'm just going to keep taking armor when it's offered. We're buying spicy sauce because, like I said, max HP is so important to us right now. And very happy to see alien magic here, even though it does decrease our luck. I mean, this is such a good shop for us. We can take alien magic, or increase our, yeah, decrease our luck. Increasing our regen and max HP is really good. Similarly, even though it costs us a little bit of regen, we'll take this. I'm going to take this. Do I want acid is the thing. So now that we have picked up a bunch of max HP, I'm less hard up for it. And I think we will be able to scale our dodge pretty well. So I'm actually going to pass on the acid. I will throw in a reroll here and buy this Cyclops Worm. That'll be great as well. Um, because acid's both expensive and reduces our dodge, which on, on this build we actually do want to scale. So it's going to end up being a pretty inefficient purchase for us, I think. I think we're probably planning to take like one level three HP level up whenever we see one of those, and that will pretty much meet our quota for HP plus whatever we happen to find. I do need a little better healing. Our regen is fine, but we are a little reliant on consumables right now. And with only sort of medium luck, we're not going to generate infinite consumables. Let me definitely clear that loot alien. Our luck isn't bad or anything like that, but it's it could be higher. On the other hand, with almost 20 armor at this point, I think we're in very good shape. I'm going to recycle the white flag, of course, and I will recycle the barricade. Little unfortunate that that's what we found. Here I'm just going to take 6% dodge. I'd like to start scaling that. And level ups are the best way to scale dodge in general. Upgrade this, upgrade this, and we will upgrade this. We do lose a little crit chance, but the movement speed is really strong. I am going to pass on both Pocket Factory and Acid, I think. I, I do love Pocket Factory, and we have decent engineering, but I think this build really wants to be just maximizing our damage. Let me keep upgrading this Jousting Lance, and I'm not going to roll again because we won't be able to afford anything, and I've already re-rolled three times. We're very fast now. Wave 11 with a Horde. This shouldn't be too bad for us. We both kind of outpace and also have enough burst damage to clear the rib cages. Um, Hordes are harder for Jousting Lances than you might think, because one of the best ways to deal with Hordes, especially with this kind of weapon, is to camp in the corner and let the the enemies all come from one direction so that your spears, or whatever you might have, attack through the Hordes of enemies. Um, but with Jousting Lances, you can't just stay still. So we can we can do that by, like doing some wiggles in the corner like this, but it's much less effective because you can't as easily direct your weapons to all be facing in the same direction. Get that tree, make my way back through the middle to try to pick up all those materials. Um, I'll take this turret, less because it's good, but more because uh, if we happen to find fairy, it's a unique item. And then here... I'll just take the level 4 speed. We're just going to be as fast as we can. And then here's the level 3 health that I was talking about. That gets us up to 54. And then plus whatever else we find will be in great shape. Take the Vigilante Ring. I could take Bean Teacher here. 40% XP gain will be a few more levels over the course of the rest of the game. Um, I think I'm going to pass on it just to try to boost our damage a little more. I'm really looking for anything that gives attack speed at this point. Leveling lances, I believe, also does decrease their cooldown, so that's one reason to level them aggressively. I should look at that next time. We have lances of different levels, though. 
One thing I've learned doing this random weapon series is that I just like don't really know what the higher level versions of every weapon does. Um, I keep missing that they have different ranges or different cooldowns or gain gain a point in their core stat at level four, but not at previous levels. There's there's just so much depth in this game. Love being this fast. I will say... This is the most terrifying Brotato I have seen. Look at my mouth combined with the armor strap. <laughs> they always get pretty horrific, but this one really, really came out bad. Uh, I'm going to take more dodge. Now we're up to 32% dodge. Uh, I will definitely take rip and tear. Even though our melee damage isn't how we like mostly scale our damage, we still get a lot just from buying armor. And rip and tear works really well with long weapons because basically the explosion can apply at any point along the length of the weapon because that enemies can be anywhere along it. So it essentially extends the area that your weapon is attacking by the radius of the rip and tear um, along its whole length, meaning that you get a ton of extra area from having longer weapons with rip and tear. I'm gonna buy this compass and cute monkey, roll again. Hey, we do get a hunting trophy. We have gone down to negative crit chance, but I think we can get back up. And then I'm going to not buy helmet, even though it scales our armor, but we lose speed. I guess we get one base damage from that and the 40%, so we, we basically break even on base damage, but get an armor at the cost of, at the cost of speed. I think we're we're gonna pass on it and not lock it. I do now need to build crit chance though. Because the the hunting trophy, we do intend to make use of, without any harvesting and. This build doesn't have incredible clear speed. It's got good clear speed, but not not the best in the game by any stretch. Um, our economy is not... We're, we're not behind an economy, but we're not ahead either. So, Jousting Lance, or Hunting Trophy, excuse me, is one of the ways that we can boost our economy ahead of the curve. Still need more attack speed as well. That's something that this build still is quite is missing quite badly. Break this tree. We did get a lot of crates this wave too, or I guess two crates this wave, but that's still pretty good. I'm gonna take the chameleon here. We never use the dodge when standing still, but I think three percent dodge is worth four damage. No, I think we'd rather just have the materials. And then we don't need baby with a beard. Um, do I want armor or just more speed? I think it's kind of fun that we're building this much speed, so I might just keep taking speed, although that does put us in danger of just dying because I'm too fast and can't dodge as easily. Uh, but I'll, I'll take the level three speed here. I, I just I just got rid of that. Um, let's combine. Yeah, so you can see that Jousting Lances do get better attack speed as they level up, which is really good, because that's one of the best ways to scale the damage on them. We can't afford the blindfold, but I will still buy more duct tape. Need more max HP again, but blindfold is going to be really good. We need crit chance and dodge. Actually, I should have bought the blindfold over the other two items here, because any crit chance allows our hunting trophy to get some money. We are so fast. Things that I should definitely do with my videos, but I'm much too lazy to do, are editing in moments, like at the beginning, doing a hook at the beginning where I show like, here's how fast this character gets or whatever. But video editing is hard and I'm very lazy.
you can see that our regen is really not keeping up with the incoming damage, um, especially because I, I am so fast I'm getting hit by everything because it's just hard for me to dodge. Like I, the, the reflexes you have to have the faster you are, are faster um, in order to dodge. I will take this crit chance even at the cost of HP, I think. So I need more regen, but we do have pretty decent healing just because we have a ton of consumable heal. We've actually got plus seven, so every consumable is hitting for 10. I'm going to take little muscly dude here. The max HP is going to be really good to keep us alive, and I'll lock the cake as well. Not going to lock missile. More percent damage would be fine, but more attack speed would be even better. All right, so this guy is going to be actually kind of hard to fight just because of how fast I am. Because normally what you want to do on this one is move in a triangle around it, stopping frequently. But we can't stop because we are a, a Jousting Lance build. And because I'm so fast, it's hard for me to like focus on it. So I think what I'm actually going to do have to do is work my way around it in a circle while manually targeting it down. It is weird that we can actually outrun it. Most builds can't. I think we're actually, just because I'm so fast and can't stick to it without taking too many hits, not going to be able to kill the elite, which is really funny. Um, it's pretty difficult to kill this elite as a melee character sometimes, and the problem for us here is just that we don't, we aren't able to stick to it, because I'm moving too fast for my own good. I'll take 12% damage, that will help with that kind of problem in the future. Uh, metal is going to be excellent, even though it does cost us crit chance, but we still just need all of these stats. And we'll re-roll. I, I guess I'll keep incre increasing my consumable heal. Lock uh, Jousting Lance. And do I want this acid? I think, again, we're still trying to boost our dodge. Although, my HP is a little far behind to where I want it at this point. So maybe it's worth it to take acid. Um, that... Uh, not legal advice, by the way. It's not worth it to take acid. <laughs> if any, if any cops are listening, <laughs> uh, but I think we're gonna we're gonna pass on the item. <laughs> I think I've made about four materials off of our. Hunting trophy. <laughs> because I wasn't able to buy any crit chance and then actually decreased my crit. So that may not have been worth it. And as you can see, again, we're, we're really relying very heavily on these consumables. Because I'm just so fast that I run into enemies before I have a chance to heal up again. And it's hard for me to dodge. I think I'm doing not a bad job, but not an incredible job either. We'll definitely take attack speed. We really need that and haven't gotten offered it that much. Level up my lances and buy more dodge from the peaceful bees. Do I want more crit chance? I think I do. I will lose an HP for it. Here I'm going to take clover. That's an excellent find. And then I'm not going to lock the duct tape, although I would probably still buy it. With 45% dodge, we're feeling really good at this point, though, and, like, 20 armor, obviously, we're, we're very hard to kill. Gotta hunt down the buffing aliens, trying not to break the summoners until I have a moment where I can hunt down all the summons. You, you just need to be able to clear the slugs, or clear the summons if you kill the slugs. We're kind of zipping around these guys. I should do, for for runs like this, where I'm like hitting keys all the time, I should set up a hand camera, like uh, professional StarCraft players. Or like rhythm game specialists have. <laughs> Oh, oh, loot alien, come back. Yeah, I got him. 
it is nice that we can just dive into the middle of these enemies, but it's also really funny that we're on wave 17 making 350 a wave, because we're just not able to actually stick to enemies. Um, Alright, this is nice. I think the recycling machine won't pay for itself at this point, because we're not... We've got 36 luck, but that's not that much. Although I guess we are just about to get a lure. Um, I think I would rather just get these two, but I think I will pick up the recycling machine here because we're going into a wave with a lure and with an elite, so there's a decent chance we'll have something good to recycle and make money off of it. So I need to like dip out and dip back in to fight the elite when I am... when my attacks are off cooldown because... These attacks are infrequent enough that when I, if I just try to like spiral around the elite, we don't take, we don't get to hit it that often. On the other hand, we do get to stick to it very well. Took a lot of damage there, so I need to be a little careful. Let's go click kill that loot alien as well. We get to stick to it very well, even in its very fast phase. Okay, can we clear it before the end of the game? I need to back off and make some healing. Looks like we're just not going to get it. Man, killing elites is harder on this build than I thought it would be. Jousting lances do suffer at killing elites because you're, you're just so... You don't have very high damage and you have to stick to them. And without the attack speed from... With the 50% lower attack speed from knight, it's really hard to kill stuff. Uh, I'm just going to take more attack speed. All right, Retromission's hoodie. That should solve a lot of our problems. And we'll take Peaceful B, because that also now gives us additional attack speed. So now we have 74% attack speed, which is actually quite quite respectable, um, even with the minus 50%. And yeah, I'll take a Finn and a Jousting Lance going into the next wave. That seems fine. We only have 70 HP, but now that we attack a lot faster, we should be much better able to clear these waves and also to kill the bosses. Did I make this game harder on myself than it had to be by buying all this speed? I would say yes, but... <laughs> But it's also more fun. So notice that at this point, the buffed enemies, I do have to be pretty careful of. Because as we run into them, we do take a lot of damage. And it's hard not to run into them. We also, while we started with really excellent armor, I actually haven't gained a lot of armor. So we're ahead uh, in, in recent waves. So we're definitely ahead on the armor curve, but not as wildly as we would be otherwise. You see how much that bonus attack speed and reduced range actually helped us because we are now making 500 in a wave rather than the like 300 we were making before. All right, recycling machine just basically almost paid for itself. Uh, I think we will end up not making our money back on that. Let's see. Yeah, no, we didn't make our money back because I, I wasn't able to kill anything that wave. By the Jousting Lance, by the Finn. I, I'm still going to keep increasing our movement speed just because I think it's funny. Upgrade this Jousting Lance. That's great. And then roll again. Upgrade this Jousting Lance. All right. So we have ended up making a lot of purchases this this way, this way game that did not pay off. Um, like this lure we only got one crate from, I think. Although, obviously, the regen's still good and everything. Recycling Machine didn't pay for itself. Hunting Trophy didn't pay for itself. Um, Rip and Tear did pretty well, but is not phenomenally. But it's still just Knight is such a powerful class, and we bought a bunch of armor and have a bunch of weapon, you know, decent high-level weapons, that I think we're, we were just able to even take those odd decisions and speculative choices and have them work out just fine. And having gotten retro Retromation's hoodie, where now our damage output is wildly higher, as you can see. As I've been saying this whole run, Jousting Lances primarily scale with attack speed, so that is some negative synergy that knights have with them.
we might still just not have the damage to kill these bosses. We're not in any danger of dying, but... Especially because I don't have very good critical hits. Hit chance. Um, which is one of the things that could increase our damage significantly at this point. It looks like we just don't quite have the damage to kill the bosses. That's, that's really funny that we ended up with this, this knight build that moves really fast and is unkillable but can't kill the bosses. Because usually killing elites is one of the things knights do very easily. Took a lot of hits there, so I just want to back off. And try to proc some healing off of a consumable. Anytime you can't kill the bosses, you do have to play a little bit carefully, just because they do do a lot of damage. So if you are, aren't are careful, you can run into all their attacks and die. All right, so that, was, that ended up being a kind of weird run, but we were able to make it through thanks to tons of healing from Cute Monkey, um, having great consumable healing, as well as, of course, just lots of good defensive stats from armor and dodge. Decent HP, not great regen, but it was enough. And we found Retromation's hoodie, which helped a lot as well. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this Brotato random random run. And as always, if you have, please do take the time to leave a comment and like the video helps me out a ton with the algorithm and so on. And I will say these random runs have been super enjoyable, but aren't really bringing like new viewers to the channel. It's almost always previous viewers. So anything that you can do to help boost the algorithm by leaving comments, liking the video will uh, help this series because I would like for new people to be able to see it as well. All right, and my friends, cheers, and I will catch you next time. GG.